Good afternoon. This is a special coverage of the coronavirus crisis using the combined forces of News 5 and Signal TV's One News, Radio Cinco and One PH. Online casinos will be allowed to partially operate in all areas regardless of lockdown status. Palace spokesman Harry Roque told reporters that Philippine offshore gaming operators or POGOs will be allowed to operate on a skeleton workforce of 30% in both ECQ and GCQ areas. Roque claims that POGOs are part of the business process outsourcing industry. But contrary to this, they are not members of the BPO sector's umbrella association. Pala said Pogo firms, comprised mostly of Chinese workers, will be required to disinfect their offices before allowing employees back in. President Duterte previously rejected moves to ban Pogos in the country, saying it contributes a huge sum to government collection, which can be poured into the government's budget for COVID-19 response. Presidential spokesperson Hari Roque reiterated his earlier remark that Taiwan is part of China. This comes after the Taiwan Ministry of Foreign Affairs called him out for saying that China can decide on the, on the deportation of an OFW working in their island. In an interview with 1PH, Roque says it has been the country's longtime policy to recognize Taiwan as part of the Middle Kingdom. He also justified his remark by saying most countries all over the world share the same perspective on Taiwan. Still, Roque says the Philippines and Taiwan maintain a good economic and cultural relationship. Taiwan's foreign affairs spokesperson, Joanna O oh, said Roque wrongfully accused the island as part of China and not as an independent country. Kaibigan po natin ng Taiwan, meron po tayong economic and cultural relationship sa kanila. At uh, nagpapasalamat po ta tayo sa kanila dahil napakadaming mga Pilipinong binibigyan nila ng trabaho. Pero yung pulisiya po natin ay hindi po nagbabago dyan. 804 detainees with medical conditions across the country may qualify for early release amid the COVID-19 crisis. According to the Bureau of Jail Management and Penology, these are inmates that are considered non-recidivists or those who will not relapse into previous criminal habits. The BJMP reports that 3,384 PDLs, or persons deprived of liberty, are aged 60 and above and are charged with light offense. 1,927 of them have medical conditions. The Justice Department on Wednesday released its relaxed guidelines on the application process for parole and executive clemency among inmates. It cites health risks of further imprisonment and gravity of offense as among its considerations. As of last week, there were 135 inmates and at least 30 jail personnel who have tested positive for COVID-19. The Philippine National Railways is set to resume its operations on Monday at a reduced capacity. According to the Department of Transportation, the PNR will only accommodate frontliners and transit of cargo. It will also resume construction of major railway projects under the Build, Build, Build program, but with skeleton staffing. The DOTR, meanwhile, assures it is ready for the influx of commuters should the enhanced community quarantine be lifted after May 15. And he is definitely your friendly neighbor, a man dressed up as a famous Marvel hero Spider-Man to host a feeding program in Imus Cavite. Paolo Felizarta was clad in a Spider-Man costume from head to toe while cooking food and distributing it to his neighbors. Felizarta might ring a bell among PBA fanatics. For those who already forgot, he is the man who stormed the court in a Spider-Man costume during the Game 5 of the 2019 Philippine Cup Finals at the Araneta Coliseum. And that's the latest on the enhanced and expanded community quarantine. For more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star and Business World Online. I'm Jess De Los Santos. We are One News.